Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. It will really mean a lot to me. That is the encouragement I get for putting up these lovely videos. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I made this beautiful origami babu body stove. Okay? So you can see it's very very lovely. This was the first one I draft and you can see the outcome, the sewing. So it's very very beautiful and that is what I'm here to teach you guys. Alright, let's get started. So what you need for this tutorial is your half bodies, your basic bodies. So you have to draft it on fold so that you can be able to open it up this way. Okay? I've already added seam allowances all round okay so you have to do your own that way so the first thing i'm going to do is to cut out my dart so i'll cut out both that before marking out my lines okay So what you actually need for this tutorial is your paper tape, your scissors, the papers I'm working with, your measuring tape, pencils, tracing wheel. Alright, so I will proceed to marking out, I will proceed to mark out the lines I'm going to work with. Just follow very well what I'm doing, how I mark it, okay? I will be working with nine slash lines. You can decide to reduce these lines and you can also decide to increase it. Just follow and look very well how I'm marking out this slash line. Okay? So you look very well how these lines connect to each other. You also do your own that way. You can be watching this video and be practicing yours directly okay it's very simple guys so in all i have nine slash lines okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to open up the first line i drew okay so these are the paper i cut it out already so that we won't waste much time cutting it out so I'm going to cut out the first line I drew. I will cut it, but I'm not going to cut it out, okay? I'll cut it and shift it like that and use my paper tape to tape it down, okay? You are not placing it on top of your bodies. You are just going to shift it and use your paper tape to tape it down. Once I'm done taping it down, I'm going to get my paper, put it under the opening like you see. Then I will use my paper tape to hold it down, okay? So you can see the first place I'm taping down. When it's time to fold it, that is where I'm going to fold over. Okay, just keep washing. So after taping it down, I'm actually going to get my tracing wheel and I will trace that edge of the dots, like that places I taped down. So I need to trace it down, like you see. Then I will have to fold it over, okay? You can see the place I'm grabbing, then I'll fold it over to the other side, okay? 
so the first place i taped down that is where i will fold over to the other side okay so when you fold it you'll notice the excess at the down just use your paper scissors to trim it down so when i open it you'll notice the quiz line i will use my pencil to mark out that quiz line okay so that when i'm extending the second line it will stop on that center line okay so i'm extending the second line i'm going to cut open and it will just stop on that quiz line i marked out okay so you get your scissors you cut it open like you are seeing right now so don't cut it out okay just cut it then you shift it like you see and use your paper tape to tape it down it has to be the last while taping it down okay it really really has to be the last okay you are now um, placing it on top of each other you are just adjusting it so that you can tape it down okay it's just like moving the dart away from the initial position okay So what I taped down is not the last, so I had to remove it and retape it down so that it can be the last. After that, I'm going to get my paper and put it under and tape it down like so. So you can also notice the first side I'm taping down, when it's time to fold, that is the place I'm going to fold over, okay? So I will run my tracing wheel and I will fold it over, okay? So you can see very clearly how I'm folding it over once I fold it over then I'll flip the other paper at the other side opposite side then I will have to trim off the asset like you are saying then once I open it I will retrace the quiz line that center line you are seeing okay so that I can extend the next line okay you can see what I'm doing extend the next line and stop at the quiz line then I will cut it open like you are seeing so as i cut it open i will get my paper and put it under then i'll grab my paper tape and tape it down So once I tape it down, from this next line, that is where I'm going to start to measure the amount of spread I want. So I'm using the spread of 4 inches, okay? So once you move the first two dots, then the third line, that is where you are going to start measuring the amount of spread you want, okay? So I'm folding it like so so always note this one thing you are folding over to where you have a slit and once you fold over flip that side you have a slit like what you see and cut off the excess okay that's the point here then i will retrace my quiz line with a pencil okay i'm just marking that to you know beautify it so then i'm extending my line as usual then i'll cut it like so 
once I cut it open, I will get my paper, put it under, then I'll tape down this side that I'm going to fold over first. So once I tape it down, I'm going to measure the spread I'm working with, which is four inches. Okay. After taping it down, I'm going to measure the spread I'm working with, which is four inches. So once I measure it, I will tape the other side down. So after taping it down, run your tracing wheel, okay, like we did for others, then you fold it over, okay. Guys, I will keep repeating this. You are folding over where you have a slit, okay, and once you fold it over, flip, flip the opposite side like that and you trim out the excess, okay. Just get this point and you will know that this is very simple, okay? The issue here is for you to get this fast, I'm telling you, okay? Then I'm going to extend the next line and stop at that quiz line. Then I'll cut it open like that. Okay, get my paper, put it under... And I'm taping down. The side I'm taping down first is the side that does not have slits, okay? So note that fact too. And that side I'm taping down first is the side I'm folding over to the slit, okay? So I'm measuring my 4 inches spread as usual, then I'm taping down the other side. So I'm running my tracing wheel like so, then I'll fold it over as usual, okay? So once I fold it over, the essence of folding it over is to get the crease line and also to cut out the xx okay then i will retrace my quiz line like i told you the essence of retracing this quiz line is for you to know where the next line you are extending is stopping okay so my next line is stopping there then i will extend it like that and i will cut it open from that point okay okay you can see what i'm doing so once you cut it open, you grab your paper and put it under. So you tape it down. You are taping down the side that you did not have a slit first. <coughs> so once you tape it down, you measure the spread you want you can use three you can use two it depends on you okay i decided to use four okay so that my folding will be evident guys if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so thank you very much in advance Okay, I'm folding it over like that. Then I'm flipping the other side to cut off the SX, okay? So always know this, you are folding over to the side you have the slit. So I'm marking the quiz line as usual. Then I'm going to extend the next line and it's going to stop on that quiz line, okay? Then I will cut it open like so. So 
So once I cut it open, I will grab my pepper, put it under, and tape it down. Okay? So you are taping down first the side does, that does not have the slit. And that is the side you are folding over to the slit. Okay? So once you tape it down, you mark the spread you want. I'm using 4 inches spread. Okay? So once you mark the spread you want, then you tape the other side. Okay? After taping the other side, you fold it over. Mark the crease line and extend the other line. So it continues like this till we are done. Okay? So I'm using my tracing wheel. Then I'm folding it over. Okay? So you are always folding over to the side that has slits. I just want this fat to get into your head guys because this is the point here once you fold it over you flip the other paper on the opposite side so that you can cut off the excess so I'm making my crease line evident as usual then I'm going to extend the next line and stop at that crease line okay then I'll cut it open like you are seeing. Grab my paper, tape it down. So once you get these facts I'm putting out, this will be very very simple for you, okay? So I'm measuring the amount of spread I want as usual then I will tape it down after taping it down I will run my tracing wheel like that after that I'm going to fold it over okay so I will repeat it again you are folding over to the side that has slit once you fold it over you flip the paper opposite like that flip it like that and you cut off the excess okay so once you open it you retrace your quiz line when you retrace your quiz line you extend the last line okay so you extend the last line like that then you cut it open so the last line will not be able to spread like others because it's really small so just spread it as much as you can okay and tape it down as usual and fold it over okay I hope you really understand this if you really really have any question don't hesitate okay to drop it on the comment section okay So I'm running my tracing wheel down, then I'll fold it over like so. Once I fold it over, I will flip the paper on the opposite side like that. Then I will trim out the excess, okay? And we are almost done with this tutorial. We are almost done guys. Like this is really really looking very beautiful. So I'm going to trim off those excesses you are seeing there. Alright guys, I hope you really really enjoy this video. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. I will attend to that. Okay? If you've not su subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. It will really really mean a lot to me. Okay, I'm going to fold it back. This is the result of our tutorial, guys. Are you not feeling it? Like, I'm feeling it already. This is very beautiful. So in our next class, in our next video, I'm going to show you guys how to sew it. All right, guys. Thank you.